<laughs> Rather, are the only side to have beaten Derry at the Brandywell this season. Sammy Ristolo with the decisive strike two weeks ago. Since then, Derry have returned to winning ways with a vengeance. Their 4-0 victory over Sligo on Tuesday night, evidence of their intent. Mark Farron's return to goal-scoring form is a welcome boost for manager Stephen Kenny. Drogheda's recent form has been more mixed and their cause won't be helped with manager Paul Doolan forced to watch tonight from the stands. It's Derry City versus Drogheda United here at the Brandywell. The three points on offer tonight are really crucial in the race for the Aircom League title. To put uh, this game into perspective, we can have a look at the table. Um, we see Shelburne on top there with 52, Derry on 48. But Dave, crucially, Derry do have that game in hand. And as you said, they play Shelburne here on Tuesday as well. So it's still all up for grabs, isn't it? Yeah, it's all up for grabs. I think, as I said, you know, it's a great situation playing at home. I uh, haven't said that, I think uh, Drogheda are in a, a very good position as well. You know, they're, uh, you know, if they win tonight, they're, they're looking for that second spot, the away for cup spots, you know. So, but I haven't said that, I think Derry, Drogheda are not a, a nice team to play against. They're very, they're very tight, uh, strong at the back. They don't give much away. So, you know, it's up to Stephen Kenny then, how they're breaking down. Derry City, so four suspended. Brennan, Oman, Higgins and Malloy, which means into the midfield again comes Kevin Deary alongside Kieran Martin there. Kevin McHugh takes the place of Gary Beckett, as we said. Those are the only two changes with the side that convincingly beat Sligo Rovers 4-0 on Tuesday night. And as for Drogheda, Brian Shelley is at right back and a recast back four. Jason Gavin is recalled. Stephen Gray is at left back. And on the left side of midfield is Shane Barrett with uh, Declan Fabio O'Brien there, top goal scorer with 15 goals, 13 in the league, captaining the side from the front. Yeah, I mean, we were looking at the teams earlier on and we were saying that, you know, maybe um, Gavin Whelan would probably switch into the middle of the park over Shane Robinson. I mean, you know, it could be a little bit of mind games going on earlier on that Shane Robinson might go out. But, you know, it's all it's all to play for. And I, I think the biggest thing in this tonight would be the two defences are so strong and two good goalkeepers. Um, that'll be, you know, hopefully a bit of brilliance that will change the whole game and make it a very, very open game for the people. They came back in total strength to defend the corner. Lovely ball for McGlynn. Chance to take on the fullback. Oh, that was a header and a chance for Martin. Yeah, I mean the ball's come in. It looked like Darren Kelly in the end, I think, George. I mean, it's, you know, it's, he's got down the wing here. It's put a great ball in the box again. And yeah, yeah, Darren Kelly just got up and hit that. And I mean, he's just got underneath it, exactly the same as Kieran Martin in the first half. So it's another great charge. And I mean, with Darren Kelly where he is, and I mean, it's such a strong hitter of the ball. Again, that is a chance. Um, but it's come from with again, you know. And this is what we've been just discussing about the last 15 minutes of the game. You know, they, they, they need to get with and get balls in the box and wide. And the rebound off the referee favours Drogheda. Gray and now Robinson. Robinson on for Gray. And it's cleared by Peter Hutton but comes right back again. O'Brien, chance here. Wonderful save by Ford. Gavin Whelan's shot. David Ford down to deny him. And the ball out for a goal kick. Yeah, it's a fantastic save by Ford by there. You know, I mean, Gavin Whelan's had the chance. I mean, it's, it's really well worked. I mean, Shane Robinson's exceptionally well. The ball's come in the box here. You know, Fabio's put a great ball in behind the back four. Whelan's just smacked it. And great save by Fordy there, you know. But I mean, you've got to give credit to... for a set the half Darren Kelly he won't let me saying that because he tell you Patrick Deary getting himself caught in some trouble it's O'Brien now facing Hutton O'Brien 
Myers shot, but straight down the throat of David Ford. And there's the final whistle of the first half. Fabulous save by uh, David Ford from Gavin Whelan was probably the highlight of the half, though Derry have it more action in front of Dan Connor's goal. But they haven't yet managed to threaten it convincingly. Half time at the Brandywell, it's Derry City nil, Rahani United nil, and Tony O'Donoghue has our first half time interview. Thanks very much indeed, George. I'm joined by Declan Devine, the assistant coach of Derry City. Shelburne are winning, deadlock here. If the gap is now going to go to six points, you, you've got a lot to worry about. Well, not really. We, we're only concentrating on ourselves here. Um, I think that half we've just done OK. Um, we've moved the ball quite well at times, but I think we've, we've more to come in the second half. But like I say, we, we just concentrate on ourselves here and hopefully get the job done in the second half. OK, thanks very much indeed for Thank joining you. us, Declan. And, and you're welcome back to the Brandywell. Nil-nil at half time here. Uh, we're going down to Tony O'Donoghue now, who's with Sammy Ristola, the man who scored the winner for Drogheda here just a few weeks ago. Thanks very much indeed, Kanye. Sammy is on the bench tonight, and you may be seeing action yet tonight. You got the winner here 10 days ago. Do you think we'll be seeing you in the second half on the pitch? Well, I hope so. You know, the, um, it's been similar our game that's last Tuesday, and I hope get a little run in the end and maybe make a difference today. You're playing very much on the break, and you probably had the best chance of the first half. Oh, yeah, we did, and it's been a hard playing against the, uh, you know, the hill there, and I hope we get out a bit more in the second half, and that's what we're going to try to do and press a bit more. Now, Simon Webb came on uh, because Derry were having some benefit playing down the right-hand side, uh, yet you didn't put him into left-back as a normal position. Yeah, Shane Barrett has been ill for, uh, for a week now. He's been on antibiotics and obviously uh, it didn't work out with him and the, uh, we had to put Simon in there and it's done well, you know, to get back in the training and uh, left midfield. It's not a bad position for him. Okay, well, thanks for joining us, Sammy. We might see, as I say, in action in the second half. Back to you, Khan. Geary again. there. Opportunity off the post from McHugh. The flag goes up for offside. You can't come much closer. He's done very, he's very unlucky there, Kevin McHugh, you know, I mean, fair play to Eddie McCallion. He's done great work there. He's got in, he's put a great ball in, great ball in the box. McHugh's put it back across the goal. Connor beaten all ends up and it's hit the post. Substitutes. And they might get their way through. But he still hasn't sent Paddy McCord on. Now it's O'Brien. Fitzpatrick peeling away to the right. O'Brien, well, Xavi Alonso does that from his own half, but uh, it takes a little bit more in the way of, uh, shall we say, uh, artistry. It was The trajectory wasn't quite enough to couple David Ford. No, but you... Uh, ben You know, I mean, obviously, Kevin McHugh has done something like that because the, the draw the fire sent the halves are having a few words with him. But, you know, we leave, we leave the people up, the pitch sorted out. Number 10. That's Kevin McHugh. So what's the decision? I want a word with you. He's gone to the back pocket. He's up. is reduced to one. Frustration for Stephen Kenny. Well, that was the uh, assistant referee's decision. The referee didn't spot it. It was clearly something that happened when the play was up on the other end of the pitch. But Kevin McHugh, we can only assume, and we can also just hope that we do actually have it on one of the cameras. Yeah, I mean, because it's off the ball. You know, I mean, you have to, I mean, you know, full credit to the linesman. I mean, if there's something that's happened as the man, he's brought the attention. I mean, he has flagged for probably up to 30 seconds, you know, and it's 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 probably a stupid thing. I mean, you know, we, we've got to find out what it actually happens. I mean, Stephen Kenny's obviously going to be gutted because he's just brought Paddy McCourt on. Um, probably frustrated for some of the Derry City fans because Paddy McCourt has gone straight outside right when the decisions are made, and now he's back to 10 men, so... He's obviously got to just stick one up front with Farron and, and, and put four across the middle and, and play 4-4-1 four, four, now. At this stage of the season for teams like this, Ford has to save. O'Brien coming in at the back. Great chance. I mean, you know, the ball's gone around the back and he's, he's a free striker goal. And Ferris Ford has made a great save again. That's squirted free. 
three to Robinson. And uh, then on top of the shirt by Sean Hargan. Again, he's worked very, very hard there. I mean, you know, we're looking for the man of the match tonight. I mean, obviously, David Ford has made a couple of great saves, but I think probably the lad in the picture there, Shane Robinson, has probably worked very, very hard in the first half and done everything that Trotter has done, Paul Doonan has asked him to do and played the, the game plan that he's asked to do. And so tonight, my man of the match would be um, Shane Robinson from Trotter. Shane Robinson, air combat of the match. On a night when uh, Drada, assuming it stays like this, are likely to uh, leave here the happier. Here's Robinson on the ball. Now it's O'Brien. And O'Brien, oh, that wasn't too far away, and it was deflected away. Yeah. Set up by Keegan, sorry, Pat. Oh, again, I mean, he's coming through. I mean, you know, it's a kick out. I mean, it's, it's, it's a poor kick out. It's been blocked up by Shane Robinson again. You know, he's broke forward here. And he's put a great ball out to Fabio O'Brien. And it's just a little deflection. And it's, it's could have gone anywhere here. You know what I mean? Darren Kelly getting it in the flick. And Ford, he's beaten there. Just looks as if the both teams just want to try and hang on, which is obviously not what certainly got there. He didn't want. Fitzpatrick. Offside flag goes up again in uh, dubious circumstances. I'm glad you said it this time, George, because again, that looked, I mean, to me, I mean, that looked onside again. I mean, he's come on the inside of him when the ball is played. He's, he's actually, he's no pace. I mean, here it is again. Don't know. Deary, McCourt. Out of play. Throw to Derry. They really need to be up on the other end. And Gartland has been in the wars. But I'm sure there's a new shirt for him for the next match. Good uh, tire of strength for Drogheda. And indeed uh, has helped them on their way to a point. Derry City, who wanted to keep the pressure on Shelburne, have succeeded only in slipping behind. The margin now is six points with a game in hand. Shelburne still lead. Derry City have to be satisfied with a scoreless draw. They hit the post, but they couldn't get it into the net. And they ended with ten men after an off-the-ball incident deprived them of Kevin McHugh. Not checkmate, stalemate. Derry City nil, draw to United nil. Con Sean McMenamin of Aircom is going to present the Man of the Match trophy to Shane. Well done, Shane, and congratulations to you. Uh, you'll be very pleased with that point tonight, I'm sure. Yeah, of course we are. Uh, we came up last Tuesday as well, and it was a similar match, I suppose, but we happened to score. Uh, tonight we didn't, but we probably played all right on the break. I mean, it's not easy out there. They haven't been beaten all year, so I think the best way to play is probably on the break. Maybe we took the wrong option once or twice when we were um, in behind them, but... General, we can't be uh, too unhappy with a point. How important was the sending off, do you feel? Well, they were on top, to be fair, uh, at that stage. Like, like as I said, you, can't, you don't realise how hard it is here with the crowd they have and that, and um, the journey up and everything. But, I mean, the sending off definitely helped us because obviously they're not the ten men, and uh, maybe we could have nicked one at the end, but not to be tonight. Your manager, Paul Doolan, suspended, was watching from the stand. I had a brief war with him there. He's very pleased with the result, obviously. Feels you're still in the title hunt, but I mind uh, looking for a place in Europe. Yeah, that's it. Look, we all have to play each other. Um, I don't think shells are going to be handed the league by anyone. You see, there tonight, there you're playing them Tuesday. What's to say they don't beat them Tuesday? We used to play them the following week. As far as I can see, it's still the life. Well, a point for your efforts tonight and a nice piece of glass as well. Congratulations Thank to you, Shane. Thanks a lot. Thank you. John Carroll, who was the uh, the man in possession of the, the manager's armband tonight, as it were. Hey, you must be pleased with that. Yeah, absolutely, Tony. Yeah, yeah. The chaps played really well. Defensively, we were very strong, very strong. Trying to catch them on the break, as Shane said. A uh, couple of chances just wasn't to be tonight. Do you think this puts paid to Derry's chances of the title? Oh, I wouldn't say that, no. They're very strong outfit, you know, and there's a lot of games coming up for them. You know, they have to play shells, you know, so they're still in with it. In with a chance, a very good chance, you know. They played well tonight, and so did we. John, well done. Thanks for talking okay. to us.